Hello! Myself and Dave, we are back out for a couple of hours. We're going to hit these fields hard today and hopefully we get a bit of silver up. He's already after been digging there. And look what he's got out of you first hole. While I was getting set up, he's either getting a cracker of a bag seal out of his first hole. It won't take him long to get used to the Equinox, I'll tell you that. Right, if we get any more detail or figure out who it is, I'll put a photo up beside her. Let's see you on the first good one. So it's definitely taken me uh, probably half an hour, I'd say, to find the first good signal. The wind is shocking, so I have the wind mic on, so hopefully it'll help a little bit. But we're on here. It's a bit iron there, the elbow. It's the first one that's actually diggable. So let's see how we get on. Always a live one for the first one. Uh, on the screen there it said it was fairly deep so but the ground doesn't seem that deep here. David's gonna weigh into the big field there so um he said he had a good feeling about Oh you dirty sod This is 74 75 I think so that's usually lead but uh you get the odd coin and uh, and all these little silver from the 70s as well. That sounds better now as well. Come on, Betsy. Start off the day of gold. And as always, I missed the hole. Yeah. There's a big rock there, I think that's why. Worst thing about one handed live digs. Oh, I missed! Oh, I seen a bit of silver there again. Had a heart attack. Silver gilded button again. This is field that's filled with them. Yeah, right, first hole, silver gilded button. Add it next. I moved into the Georgia fields because I could not get a signal in the other field. Um, and the wind is blocked in here as well. But I'm on a good one here. Let's get her out. See. It's fairly deep as well in this part. Come on, I need a coin. I've been searching too long for signals. It's disheartening me. And all I need is a little bit of green or silver. Get me back on track. Come on. Yep. Take one, I'm sure. Just to be sure, to be sure. I don't see out there, I know. Still in there, a little bit chumpy, but still there. That's the button, is it? Yeah, I think that's it. A little button. Yeah, a bit of gold girls on it there as well. Right, a coin is coming, I can feel it. Right, we're on a little ball. Let's crack her open together. It was a uh, 75 up to 78, so I would guess a button if I was to guess. Alright, let's see. 
proved me wrong. Be a little silver hammer now would be delightful. Or another one of them. One of those tacky kind of yokes. Yeah, it's a, to be honest, it's a bit of a tacky find. Nearly attacked me there for a minute. <laughs> right, enough of that. <laughs> On to the next. Right, best signal I've had all day. Dave has just joined me now, so. He went over with the Equinox as well and said the same thing. What a live one on here. Just to see. If I was the guest there, I'd say a big penny with them numbers. Hopefully it's a big uh, charge at hard half crown. But in the area it's in as well, it's fairly trashy, so oh, I wish. I think I see it already. Oh, it's a bottle cap, is it? I'd say that's it. Like that. Oh, snap. What was it there? Big penny! Well, it looks like a chicken penny. It's a good guess. 1964 chicken penny. Deadly. I haven't had a chicken penny in months. And there you are. A beautiful imprint. I don't know what that audio really was. It looked like a lid or something. First kind of the day to get me going, lads. Thank you, Jeebus. 1964 Chicken Penny. Hope you buy it. Davy's over with a little tree pants, little Irish pre decimal tree pants. 1966. I love the harp on them coins. I feel silver today, David. There has to be silver. Silver for one of us. On to the next. Same again. Just heading out the gate. Out the Georgia fields into the silver fields. Another banging signal. I was like, ah, a bit dodgy. Now we're on another coin. There's an imprint there. What is it this time? Fairly worn away. Could be George at this rate half penny anyway. Yeah, see him drain out there now. George the fifth half penny. Deadly, that's the second coin now. I'm gonna stay around here now for another little minute before I head back in. Just to see. Yeah, that'll dry out nice now. There, yeah, that way. There you are. He's head facing to the left. I doubt we get a day off it because the back's fairly worn. Right, lads. Uh, I was on a scratchy, scratchy 81, and the minute I turned the sod, I went as clean as that. So. Oh, still a little bit scratchy. Let's have a look together and see what it is. How come I always miss it? It's in the side wall. Always. Right. Let's go in behind her and try to push it out. Oh, 
Come on. Give me something good. We're in here. Uh, button. That's it, that's why it's scratchy. Yeah, a button. A scratchy old button. Right, we keep going. We're still on the look for uh, the fifth silver in a row, I think. Yeah, I think the last four digs I've had some kind of silver. Uh, first time I had the George the Third, four pence. Then I had the three silver coins. Then on the Fermanagh dig, I had the silver Vicky. And then last week I had a silver spoon. So uh, here's hoping I can do five in a row. See you on the next one. Right, just had a dodgy 50. Ugh. There she is. That was the uh, what was her bottom imprint? There you are. Let's see what it is. So you wish anyway. Oh look at that. It's a day for the Irish ones today. Look at that for an imprint. It's a pre decimal half penny. Liat pingin. So it'll be the sixties because it's that colour. The other ones that turn green. Uh, 1964. Deadly. Right, we'll hang around here for a while. See if we get a few more up. Hopefully a little silver. So we just walked into the military field for luck and I'm on an absolute cracker. Solid 82. Come on, big silver! The minute I turn it, Dave, it's going to show us the big hammer coin. You ready? Or not? Cylinder? Yeah. What's it giving you? I think it's more air. Now yeah. oh, you're affecting my noise. <laughs> I can see it already, I can see it. The coin ball here. It's in the side hole, yeah. There's something. Oh, what is that? A little... That's a pre-decimal half penny, isn't it? Or a decimal, sorry, a decimal half penny. Gee, look at the size of that. Tiny little yoke. It's a day for the Irish coins, lads. Little pre-decimal half penny. I said to Dave I'd hit me if it wasn't a coin, so at least I don't have to start chewing. <laughs> Until the next. It's 82, so I have to dig it. I have to live dig it as well. Eighty two is it silver number for me lately, so I'm gonna light the all the eighty twos. Come on, Betsy. I need a silver. It's a banging signal as well. We'll take one for luck. Uh, what's your guess is in a row? I'd say we're in the sod. Probably a good sign that we're still in. Oh, I'm getting excited now. I 
Not see him. Oh, it's one of them. It's one of them. Oh, it still has the weight truck on it. So yeah, this is like a Wayne Scales thing, I think. I'm nearly sure it was. One of them. Had something on either side, the way it out. Deadly. All right, Dave is on one here. What did you say it was, 26? Uh, 24, 25. And he said he thinks it's a coin. I'm going to take it out. His old back is up here, so I'll do the others and take out this gold coin. It's a coin. Could be a button. I think it's a coin. Just the wind is brutal. I'd say we won't last much longer and we'll be heading on. It's a between the wind and a bit of rain there as well. I so see you're on the young head, George the third, Deb. Yeah. Definitely is you see the three ones up there. And it's a high Borneo one. Nice one. One of my friends Dane loves these coins. Yeah, I was watching the videos and he said he loves the George the Third. Yeah, it'll dry out nice now. Head facing to the right. Maybe uh, Georgius. Then three ones, uh, REX for King. It's your first George the Third with the Equinox, is it? Nice one, right. I'm going to give the man his coin now that he found. <laughs> Hopefully we get another couple of signals before we head on. The wind is blowing a uh, holy. You want me to bend down again? Or you want to get yourself? Go on, get it. That could be a silver, Dave. They're high numbers. Dave is on a. Oh, look at that. What is that? Is it a coin? It's not, it's a button, is it? Yeah, it's a big old button, it's rusted and everything. It's a lively one though. That's a lot of gold gilding on there. Uh, I think it's the stag's head one. You know that one? It's my face is blown up here in this wind. Hold on, is it the stag's head or a, I think it's a stag's head. Or a deer or something. I think. If you get any better photos when it cleans up, I'll take a photo and show you. Davy could be on something good there. I think I'm on a big penny. See there. Yep. Yeah. A big old penny. I don't mind finding them at all. It's a bit crusty, but sure look. Coin is a coin. Wonder if we get a head off it. Oh, we might get a little monarch. Let's say it's George V, I'd say. Uh, you can probably see better on the camera there. There, we get a date. We get a date, we get a king or queen. Nineteen twenty something, so it's George the fifth. So his head should be there somewhere facing to the left. But a big penny, I'll take that all day. Right, on to the next. Right, that's us done for today. Both our backs are broke. We just said we've had enough. Dave was on one last signal there before we go. This sure day is too. No silver today. So you're not a magician. <laughs> right lads, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.